Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I wanted to talk to you about the Surface Book 3 announcement. I'm not on camera today because I really have nothing to show you beyond the media release that's already out there. So all of the information that's displayed on the screen was provided by the Microsoft Press Kit. In this video I will be going through essentially four quick things. The announcement itself, the specifications of the new machines, whether or not I'll be buying one, and whether or not you should be buying one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the Surface Book 3. So the announcement was made just a few days ago and it was announced alongside a hardware refresh of the majority of the Surface line. This included the Surface Go 2, the Surface Book 3, the Surface Headphones 2, and the Surface Earbuds. So pretty much all of these devices got that 10th Intel generation chipset refresh, but today obviously we'll be focusing on the Surface Book 3. So the significant updates that were made to this device essentially were the Intel CPU options and then the NVIDIA GPU options, as well as the higher spec RAM. 32 gigabytes is also possible on some of the higher end models now. From the information that I'm reading and the videos that I have found, it seems that several smaller tweaks were made, including the docking mechanism uh, working twice as fast as the original, which is kind of nice. And of course, an updated Surface 2 dock was also announced that'll drive two 4K displays on top of the display of the device itself. I'll just quickly put these specs up for your consumption. The bottom line though is the 10th generation Intel Core processors. So they're using the i5-1035G7 and then the 1065G7 processors. The configurations more or less are what you would expect to see. Um, we are also seeing the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with Max-Q on the 13 inch and then the 15 inch will have the Quattro RTX 3000 available as an option as well on top of the GTX 660 Ti. So lots of options and I'm actually happy to report that they're gonna be bundling a, a charger that can actually drive those chips without slowly dying. So they have learned that lesson. They are claiming up to 15.5 uh, hours of typical battery usage on the 13 inch and up to 17 and a half hours on the 15 inch. Uh, but I imagine that those will vary widely depending on how they are specced and built. A few other things to note is that there is no Thunderbolt 3 port, which will disappoint a lot of people. However, Microsoft just prior to this event uh, did say that some of their concerns around Thunderbolt 3 were actually having to do with security and whether or not that is enough of an explanation, I'm not entirely sure, but that's what we know. So here's the thing, will I be buying one? The answer is simply not right now. My current Surface Book 2 does everything I want and has no signs of needing replacement. A hardware refresh is more about keeping the device competitive on the market and not necessarily keeping it innovative or offering a reason for past generations to upgrade. All of the patent drawings that we've seen submitted so far for Surface Book devices uh, have not come to fruition yet. So there is not a significant advantage beyond those chipsets and GPUs of actually making this move. And quite frankly, my budget does not allow for a non-essential $3,000 purchase, which is uh, uh, what I would essentially have to buy if I was going to be uh, replacing my Surface Book 2. By the time that I am ready to make that purchase, my needs might have changed. Keep in mind that way back in the day when I settled on the Surface Book 2 being the device that I wanted to buy, it was after a very, very long and rigorous vetting process. And at the time, the Surface Book 2 won that quote-unquote competition. However, that might not necessarily be the case in the future. I'm not entirely sure. The other thing, of course, is whether or not you should buy it, and the short answer is maybe. There is something that we need to talk about, and that is the price difference between the Surface Book 2 and the Surface Book 3. Uh, it's significant. It's a 550 Canadian dollars uh, at the base models if you're just comparing those, and that's enough for a pen, uh, the Surface Pen, and as well as a really good warranty from Microsoft. 
And I will and continue to stress, as I always have, that purchasing a Surface Book 2 without a warranty is dangerous. <laughs> I think I'll go as far as, as to call it that because the warranty is cheaper than one single repair. So if you ever have to do any repair to the Surface Book 2 and it's outside of warranty, that is going to be a huge pill to swallow. Now, there is savings to be had. 550 Canadian dollars is a fair bit. Um, there are advantages to the new device, um, but those advantages are not going to be applicable to all people that might want this form factor. And I don't really know if there's enough incentive to upgrade, and I think that's probably going to be one of the biggest challenges that the Surface Book 3 will have is attracting um, older customers. It'll be a great option for new customers that have never owned a Surface Book before, and it will be a very logical choice for them to make, uh, at least until the Surface Book 2 supplies dry up. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you found this video um, informative, if nothing else, so I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, please consider liking the video, sharing, subscribing, and of course hitting that notification bell. So if there are any future updates that I have on any Surface products that uh, are relevant to the channel or you, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.